Hey guys, Sovereign Soros here, welcome to a new video. Today I'm adding to this tube, which is my Sovereigns 2022s, and I have an order from Tavex. So they haven't sponsored the video, unfortunately. If they would like to send me some uh, Sovereigns to review, happy to do that. But uh, yeah, I have uh, paid for these with my own hard earned. And we have four of the 2022s, so let me just flop them out for you. Yep, beautiful box. Now, here we go. So, they are just bullion 2022 sovereigns, so in theory they are brand new from the mint. Can't really see any issues, but I'm just going to give them a little check over. And in case you haven't seen them before, this is what they look like. So... I now have, ooh, what do I have? I've not quite got a full tube. Uh, so these tubes that I have uh, just here, these recently picked up, so they store the capsules. The capsules have an outer diameter of 30 mil. Obviously the inside diameter fits a sovereign, it's about 22, 22 and a half mil. And yeah, I picked up uh, quite a few of those tubes. So I can basically store the sovereigns in a capsule in a tube which I uh, haven't cracked. So they'll hold 20 in the capsules and it's different to the Royal Mint tubes which will hold, there's actually 27 in there, it will hold a couple more. Um, might hold 30 at a push and yeah those obviously are not in capsules. So I'm not too worried about keeping most of my bullion sovereigns in capsules but just while I'm doing videos and things and I wouldn't normally uh, obviously have them out of storage but you know I do a few videos at once when I uh, take them out and then I'll obviously return them back to the vault so the reason I like these tubes is because they fit into the safe deposit box like this perfectly it's 40mm uh, deep the box and 120mm wide the box so this is just inside and I can fit seven of them if I put them in this way and roll them to the back of the box. Now, if I were to be storing just sovereigns like this, 20 in a tube, seven of them, it's 140 sovereigns. So not to, uh, you know, run out of space just yet, but we're not far away. If I use just five of them, which would store 100 sovereigns, I can then store another 100 sovereigns in these like this way. So that's, you know, quite a good amount, 200 sovereigns, which would fit in easily. And then obviously, if I'm running out of even more space, then I could just put them in these tubes and keep these for the really special ones. So anyway, that's a little bit about tubes. I can do a video on storage if you like, but uh, that is it for today and what I'll say on that. And we have six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I need four more. And uh, yeah, if you just squash the foam, that would fit in the 20. So four more will fill that tube. Uh, so I have 16 of those. And that brings us to 90 sovereigns in total, uh, not including the proof 2022 and not including any of the halves. Also not including the double or anything like that. So. Yeah, 90 sovereigns, what a milestone. I am, uh, I'm actually over the 100 pieces of gold because I still have uh, things like one ounce coins and half uh, sovereigns. And then I've got a couple of you know other sizes as well. So in terms of the goal, I wanna get to this 100 sovereigns. I have actually ended up ordering a few more half sovereigns. So we've got a 2022 on the way. Uh, we'll hopefully see that soon. I also came across a deal on some other half sovereigns which I picked up. So yeah, if I was to, if I, if I didn't have the half sovereigns and I didn't have the double sovereign and I counted, I would be on 99 sovereigns, the equivalent of, which is the six, um, well, 12 half sovereigns, obviously equivalent to six sovereigns. And yeah, if I was to be uh, on those, obviously the double sovereign counts as two. So that would put me on 99. So I've done myself out of a few sovereigns there, but not to worry, they'll come. And just waiting for good buying opportunities. You know, the prices have pulled back a little bit just recently, but um, on the whole, you know, we're still up on the year or up on earlier in the year where we could be buying, you know, in the low 300s in pounds. 
our 330s, sort of 320s. Uh, we're now, you know, getting into the 350s, but 360s. So more or less 10% more expensive if you look at it that way. Maybe it's gold keeping up with inflation. Who knows? But uh, yeah, let me know if you like the capsules and the tubes and things. And uh, if you want me to do a video on those in a bit more detail, I'm happy to. But nothing expensive. They're just you know a couple of pounds each.